So if Lawrence Bishnoi, a known gangster, has been in Tehar jail, then shifted to Sabarbati jail last year, how is he still managing to carry out these targeted killings? According to our information coming in, let's go way back to 2014. I want to give you a little bit of background about how these helpers, so to say, come to the rescue of this gangster. According to information, it was in Bharatpur jail, remember, when he was lodged, that there was help received from gangster-turned-neta Jaswinder Singh. Let's go across to 2016. That were, this was when in Bharatpur jail allegedly received help from the jail staff, from the jail security staff. And that is why the kind of collusions that are being questioned here of how can a gangster continue to run a riot. It was even in 2021. This was, remember, when he was transferred to high security Tihar prison. And that is when even India Today had reported about it that there were voiceover IP calls to communicate with associates what you believe to be the highest security prison of the country was where a known gangster was known to be making calls. From the hard jail, he was then, he's been recently shifted about a year ago to the Sabarmati prison in, uh, in Ahmedabad in Gujarat. The question is, does he still have his share of helpers to be able to carry out these killings? Nevertheless, the fact is one man is dead and it's a well-known politician with connections to the top film stars and therefore both the political corridors and the film fraternity has been in shock. Baba Siddiqui was basically known for extensive political connections, his ability to get people together and what image other than this actually speaks the most about how Shah Rukh and Salman, known to not be as best friends at that point, got them together, smile and hugs. It was a super viral image about a few years ago and then we saw this being repeated for every iftar or Eid functions. Now famous basically for hosting these lavish iftar parties that attracted who's who from the political fraternity and from the film industry as well. This image, I'm told, is about 2013, but we did see a repeat of it often over the next few years. So therefore, to help you understand what Baba Siddiqui's political professional journey was and how did he have friends from the top netas to the top film stars. <laughs> Baba Siddiqui, a former Maharashtra minister and senior leader of the Nationalist Congress party led by Ajit Pawar, was shot and killed by three men in Bandra East on the evening of 12th October. Following the incident, he was rushed to Leelavati Hospital, where he was declared brought dead. In political circles, Baba Siddiqui was a respected leader, former MLA and even considered a messiah by some. But in the film industry, he was a patron and often a mediator, as he proved most effectively a decade ago. The year was 2013. The two biggest superstars, Shah Rukh Khan and Salman Khan, were embroiled in a cold war. The once good friends had a huge fallout at Katrina Kaif's birthday and were reportedly not on talking terms. Baba Siddiqui, a man with very little connection to cinema, not just ended the fight, but did it in such a fashion that the two Khans became industry BFFs again. At one of his legendary iftar parties, the two Khans reunited after years, marking the end of their five-year-long rift with a warm hug. Baba Siddiqui's untimely passing has sent shockwaves across the country, particularly within the Bollywood fraternity, as Baba was known for his close ties to numerous stars. His passing has drawn tributes from various celebrities. Ritesh Deshmukh took to his social media to express his sorrow. Priya Dutt, former member of the Lok Sabha and sister of actor Sanjay Dutt, also shared her grief. In fact, as the news spread, Bollywood stars including Salman Khan, Sanjay Dutt, Shilpa Shetty, Veer Pahari and Raj Kundra were seen arriving at the Leelawati Hospital. Shilpa Shetty was seen breaking down in tears as she left the hospital in her car. Salman Khan has reportedly cancelled the shoot of Big Boss 18 to mourn the loss of his close friend Baba Siddiqui. Bureau Report, India Today.